thanks for watching my video today we are going to evaluate uh, our limit here okay we are going to evaluate this limit by using our uh, definite integral okay now let's start <coughs> here since we have the power 1 by n if I plug infinity okay 1 by infinity mean 0 so this short term is to the power 0 so we cannot it seems like we cannot evaluate it okay but uh, okay now let's try an another way let p equal to our limit These two are not equal, okay? Mm, we have let, let p. So this one I want to bring in front of here. So we need to take log. So log p is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n. And log of product is what? Summation, right? Log of 1 by 1 plus n plus log of 1 plus 2 by n plus and so on up to log of 1 plus n by n okay now this is our summation now 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 we can put in in terms of our summation in, in, instead of writing here let's use the symbol from r equal to 1 to n log of 1 plus r by n right if you plug here r equal to 1 then you get this up to n times you get mm, the same result as this one okay <coughs> now we are going to replace this limit n tends to infinity and this summation by integral okay since this is 1 so Okay, let's put let's and log. We are going to replace r by n by x, okay? And one by n is dx, like that. So what will be the limit? So r by n. When r is equal to one, what will be this? When r is equal to one, one by n. But n is nothing but infinity, right? One by infinity, which is zero. So from 0 and r by n, when r is n, that means n by n, which is just 1. So our limit is from 0 to 1. Now this is easy to evaluate, right? Using our integration by part. Log 1 plus x into x from 0 to 1 minus. Integral from 0 to 1 x over 1 plus x dx right we are using our integration by part this is equal to log 2 of course okay log 2 minus integral from 0 to 1 now i want to rearrange this one 1 plus x minus 1 x dx this does not affect it because minus on 1 will cancel out so it will be the same thing so our log p is log 2 minus if you separate okay 1 plus x over 1 plus x dx minus become plus because this one 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus x dx okay this is easy log 2 minus this is just x from 0 to 1 plus and this is nothing but log okay log of 1 plus x from 0 to 1 now our log p is going to be log 2 minus 1 okay 
1 in terms of log i can write in as log e right this log is our natural logarithm okay? base e so in place of 1 i can write log e because log e is same as log 1 plus this is just log 2 right now log 2 log 2 log 2 log 2 meaning 2 log 2 minus log e so log b is this is sub subtraction right that meaning this is going to divide okay but what will be this in, in using logarithmic property this one i can bring to the power okay so 2 square means 4 over e right so log log will cancel what do we have p equal to 4 by e of course meaning 1 is our p or p is just or limit this one therefore limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n 1 plus 2 by n so on up to 1 plus n by n to the power 1 by n is nothing but 4 over e e is we know Euler number right so our limit tends to 4 by e